Okay, so we're back in the page builder and now let's start adding the elements to the other pages so that we begin to build a structure on each page. Now let's start with the about page. Now the first thing I'm going to do with the about page is just make a, a change to the title. So we're going to call this about Russell and then we'll just apply that change. Now you'll see that change. Now what we want to do is we want to add this header. Uh, the menu is already there. We want to add the banner and we also want to add the footer to the about page. So let's go to the about page. So the home page is complete. Now let's go click on the about page. Now you'll see that it's a custom layout so there's nothing on there at all it's completely blank so we're going to go to the page builder edit which is the pencil at the top we'll click on that and the main page builder tab will come out from the left now this is where we really do control every single page on our website so now what we're going to do is we have a choice we can add a pre-designed layout we can add a custom layout or we can add my layouts now this whole process that we're going to go through now is about adding your layouts or my layouts to each page so that we can start copying and building our pages so that there's some consistency set there. So let's, we've got the home page which is built and we want to add the header. So let's click on the header and we're going to add the header to the page. We'll keep it called header and we'll just add. So now we're adding rows from the home page. So as you can see, this is copied that row. Now let's add the row one, which is the banner. So we'll add that and we'll keep it called row one so we know exactly what's what on every page. Now you'll see that the banner has been added. Now let's go ahead and add the custom footer that we built. If you remember the last row of the page, so we'll Go to my layouts again and we will go to custom footer and then we will just add the custom footer we'll keep it called custom footer and let's just take a look at this page now it's complete so let's go to the live website and see how it looks let's just close that out and we'll refresh that because we changed the about page if you remember to about russell so we just need to refresh and we now have about Russell and then we'll click about Russell and you will see that we have the header from the home page and then we have the banner from the home page and we have the footer from the home page and now what we will do when we start creating more content for this page is just add content below and then we can then just uh, reorder the page so the content is in order so let's go ahead and do the rest of the pages. Now I'm going to speed up the video so that I don't bore you with the process but we are going to go through exactly the same process for every single page. form we will just be adding the header and footer so let's go to the page editor and we'll just add the header and the footer and the reason we're doing this is because we will be adding some other rows to make up that page as opposed to using the banner that we have on the home page so let's just add the custom footer And we will do the same with the contact page. Add the header. And then finally, we will add the custom footer. Now we've added all the standard formats that we want to have consistent throughout our website. 
Now the next thing that we will do is we'll start building each page and building them out with the content that we want to have on each of those pages. And let's take a look at the website and see how things are progressing. You will see that the about page is now starting to form up and we just add, need to add some content in there. Same applies to the resources page. And with the contact page, you will see that we just have the header and the footer. So we need to add content in the middle of that to push the footer down and obviously give the page some information. So let's go back to the page builder and the next page we'll be working on is the about page.